Hello clarinet students. We're going to start today with our warm-up on the top of page six, so make sure you have your books opened with all your notes up there. Make sure your neck straps are tightened so that you can hold your clarinets up like, like this and it comes right up to your mouth. So we're going to play our notes like we usually do, starting with G and going down to C. And you might like to go up as well, starting on C and going up. So you can pause the video there and have a little warm up if you'd like. So we've learned all the, song on, all the songs on page six. Well done. And I hope you've been playing all of them. We're going to look at the top of page seven today. And you'll notice that we have a new kind of note. We have a whole note, which you hold out for four beats. Now, obviously it's called a whole note because it takes up a whole bar. When you have a bar of 4-4, four, four, right, 4-4, four, four, it means four quarter note or crotchet beats in a bar, okay? So when you have a whole note, it's going to take up all four of those beats in the bar, okay? So you can see there's a whole note and there's a whole rest, okay? So let's just review our kinds of notes before we go on. This is the whole note, also called a semi-brieve, which is four beats. And these are the two notes we've had previously. That is a half note or a minimum, which is two beats. And this is a quarter note or a crotchet, which is one beat. Okay? And that's what we call different rhythms. Okay? So you don't need to, when we're talking about rhythm, you don't need to worry about if it's a, an A or a B or a G, um, we're just thinking about how many beats it is, okay? And then, of course, we also have our rests. Um, we have our crotchet rests, our half or quarter note rests. We have our half note rests, but now we have a whole rest, which is four beats, okay? And that's a little black box, which hangs down from the second to top line so it looks a little bit different than the half rest, which, which is right over on the edge of your page seven. You can see it's a little bit different than the half rest, okay? So when we get to whole rests in your songs, we have to count to four without playing. We're going to think about just the rhythm of number 21 first. So just above it, number 20 is called rhythm wrap. And we're just going to clap the rhythm there. So you watch the notes for number 20, you watch the rhythm, and I'm going to clap it and count the beats. So you listen first, and then I'll give you a chance to clap it with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? So hopefully you were able to follow me as I was clapping that. Now we're going to do it again and you clap with me. I'll say one, two, three, four, and then we'll start together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rest two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that was the rhythm for number 21. So sometimes it's good to think about the rhythm apart from the notes because when we're trying to play different notes, it's hard to think about the rhythm too. So if you look at now, if you look at the notes for number 21, we're going down our scale, okay? We've got an F for four beats, we've got four E's, we've got a D for four beats, we've got a rest for four beats, then we have our lowest note C for two beats, jumps up to an 
two E's and finishes on an F for four beats. Okay, so it's good to think about the notes after the rhythm. Now we're going to put them together and play. Okay, you can listen to me first and then stop the video and have a go. So if you want to stop the video now, you can play the whole thing. Of course, it's called the whole thing because it has whole notes. So stop the video and have a go at that. All right, we're going to look at number 22 next, which is what we call a duet. It's got two parts, a part A and a part B. We're going to learn both parts. And the idea is that if you're with one other person or a group, you can play both parts at the same time and they go together. But you can play both parts separately on your own now just to practice. So we're going to look at 22 part A. You can see it starts on four C's and then it goes up our scale. You'll hold a D for four beats. It's got four E's, you'll hold an F for four beats. And then it's got our top notes G. Okay, so it's a bit like going up our scale when we went when we went up our scale this way. Okay, so again, listen to me, play the whole song, and then you can have a play. <laughs> play of number 22 part A. Now we're going to play, we're going to learn the B part. It's actually the same notes as what you just played, but the rhythm is different because it starts on the whole note, which is four beats, and then goes to four Ds, which are the quarter notes. So listen to part B and watch the notes as I'm playing. Rest, two, three, four. All right, so now you can have a play of part B as well. All right, so you can practice all three lines, number 21, number 22, part A and B. So you can practice those, make sure you're taking nice big breaths so you can get through those four beat notes. All right, and you can still go back and play the songs on page six. You'll get better and better at those the more you play them. All right, good job, and we'll see you next week.